Welcome to the Suspicious Quartz sequel. As you see, I'm currently in the progress of roasting the smaller pieces of quartz that I removed out of the largest outcropping I've personally ever seen. If you watched the first video, you've seen that I removed some more barren quartz to make slabs out of. I'm going to with this one as well as this one but this larger piece I have a very special project I have a piece of juniper cut I'm going to make a display piece for it and keep this because it is a beautiful specimen this is what I have in mind for the largest piece of quartz I brought home from my previous adventure I'm going to secure it to that juniper tree stump make it look real clean and smooth out all the rough edges of the tree stump give it a good polish I'm gonna clean up the piece of quartz real good I'm gonna have that as a display piece I decided to roast this quartz because it seemed extremely hard while attempting to extract it out of the vein roasting the quartz makes it much easier to crush after you've quenched it in water once it is thoroughly cooked in the Dutch oven this is one of my standard processes once the logs have all broken up and have become hot coals I will drop the Dutch oven directly into them increasing the temperature around the quartz now to carefully drop in the Dutch oven directly into the coals without spilling I've already dropped a few into the bottom of the fire pit hopefully I won't have to clean much up later on Now the real roast begins. There's a look at the progress. I'll see you at the quench. Time for a quench. It's gonna get all oh, hot and sizzling. That was quite the reaction. Should be good. Time for a reveal. Other than a few pieces still remaining on the bottom of the fire pit, I think I have enough here for a preliminary examination to see what the course can change. Next step is to drain off this water. Let these sit overnight until they're thoroughly dry. Break up the larger pieces and load up the ball mill. I'll see you when the sun rises. I do not want to miss any potential values. So this morning, instead of getting right to crushing, I decided to clean out the bottom of the fire pit. I spilled a lot more than I originally thought. Good thing I checked and let these dry off, mix it with the rest of the quartz, and get the crush started. Time to get serious. I need to break up all of the larger pieces so that they're smaller than one inch for the ball mill. This should be relatively easy since they were roasted. I 
hauled down 24 pounds of this quartz from the outcropping. This pan is roughly 12 pounds. The other three pieces, the big one is nine pounds, and the other two smaller pieces are about pound and a half and three pounds. Roasting the ore makes a significant difference in the ability to crush them. I highly recommend it. A closer look at the freshly broken surfaces. Pretty sparkly. The quartz is now ready for the next process, pulverizing. For those who are new to my channel, I'd like to introduce to you the star of the show. Franken mill, my aura crushing, quartz crushing ball mill. Custom made by myself personally from nothing but scraps. Time to load it up. Now for the bearings. I'm gonna put all of them in the cylinder. One very noisy machine, but it does a great job on crushing the ore. Very efficient. Crushed and classified. Concentrating on collecting the concentrates will be next. I've had to resort to indoor panning because currently we're having impeccably terrible weather. Honestly, I don't enjoy indoor panning with synthetic light. Real sunlight is always the best for panning for gold, in my personal opinion. I'm only going to do a couple scoops at a time. If I see anything promising, I will present it to the camera. Until I've gathered all the concentrates, I am unsure what this material will contain. Bottom of the first pan. Definitely black sands in there. Indicator minerals. A little bump. I have plenty of material to work with. I'm going to keep on panning to collect the concentrates. Once that is complete, I will show you the weight of all the concentrates and give you my genuine thoughts on this quartz. After a closer examination, it is not load gold, it is mica unfortunately. It is not behaving like load gold or flower gold wood on the bottom of the pan. A lot of work thus far for relatively nothing, plus during this adventure on the way home, I fell in the creek and nearly drowned. The weight of the concentrates, 76 grams out of 12 pounds is not ideal. I guarantee the contents of that concentrates is lead, zinc, and iron. I'm not even going to put in the effort to smelting. Thank you for watching Smoky and Spike Productions. Have a wonderful evening.